Today we are learning how to solve for missing angles. Let's say we're shown this image and asked what is the measure of angle ADC? Well, the first thing we should do is find that angle. We'll start at point A, come into point D, and go back out to point C. Angle ADC is this big one here, and we don't know its measurement. But one way I could picture this angle is the entire angle if that line with point B wasn't there. Now another way I could think about this is angle ADC is made up of two separate angles. We have angle ADB in blue, which has a measure of 110 degrees, and we have angle BDC in orange, which has a measure of 35 degrees. Now if you put these two angles together, you get the entire angle ADC. So all we need to do is add together 110 and 35 to find the total. Well, we can do that and find that angle ADC has a measure of 145 degrees. So just to recap, what we did to find angle ADC was take 110, add 35, and get an answer of 145 degrees. Now let's practice together. Let's find the measure of angle EFG. Well, first we should identify the angle. We'll start at point E, come into point F, and back out to point G. So angle EFG is this entire big angle right here. All right, to find angle EFG, we'll go about a similar process. First, we'll think about this angle, EFH, in blue. How many degrees is angle EFH? We can see that it's 53 degrees. Then how many degrees is angle HFG? We can see that angle HFG is 145 degrees. Now how can I find the measure of angle EFG? All I'll need to do is add together those two pieces. So 53 plus 145 equals 198 degrees. Here's another problem to practice with. What is the measure of angle IHK? Well, what equation can I solve to find angle IHK? Angle IHK is here. It's the big angle made of two pieces. The first piece is angle IHJ in blue, which has a measure of 24 degrees. The second piece is angle JHK in orange, which has a measure of 32 degrees. To find what IHK is, all I need to do is add those two pieces together. What is the measure of angle IHK? If you add those two up, you get the measure is 56 degrees. Now it's time for you to try one on your own. What is the measure of angle LMN? Well, LMN is made of two pieces. We can look at LMO in blue, which measures 37 degrees, and then we can look at angle OMN in orange, which measures 154 degrees. To find angle LMN, we'll add them both together. 37 plus 154 equals 181. Here's another problem to practice with. What is the measure of angle PQR? Well, we can think that angle PQR is made of angle PQS in blue, which has a measure of 90 degrees, and angle SQR in orange, which has a measure of 147 degrees. To find the measure of angle PQR, we'll add these two pieces together. Angle PQR has a measure of 237 degrees. Today you learned how to find missing angles.